Halo Infinite is just around the corner, and Mega Constructs has already released two gorgeous blind bag series. They're a small look into the game, and Series 3 just got leaked online. Now, I reached out to the company themselves. They were incredible enough to provide me with the first high quality images of this set. So, we're going to reveal them today, and one of them is outrageous. Like, I can't get over it. It's so crazy. Let's break them down one by one. Hello, once again, YouTube, and welcome back to the domain. If you're new to the channel, welcome, happy to have you here. We're gonna start with the easy one, the UNSC Marine. Now it makes sense that we have another Marine to sort of coincide with the Series 1 Marine. This one's female, which is great, comes with a nice helmet and an assault rifle. There isn't much to say about this Marine except it's amazing for army building. Like I'm all about having Marines in my blind bags, especially as a common figure, so I can just get as many as possible, just build up an enormous army. She probably has Miranda Key's head, it's not quite clear yet, but either way, good to have a new head mold, and yeah, welcome to the team. And then we've got three Spartans. Now, these Spartans, it's so crazy. We'll start with the JFO. I love a hot pink figure. I think it's fantastic, makes a great sort of standout color. I like in blind bags when they're using sort of fluorescent and very out there colors, but this Spartan JFO comes with a sniper rifle. Great to have that in the blind bag. I love JFO. I know it's a fan favorite, and I've seen a lot of people on Reddit wanting JFO to be in Halo Infinite. Mega Constructs always makes figures from all different eras, though this is technically Halo Infinite blind bag, so I think we've got a good chance of having JFO in the game. This is an amazing one. Gold visor, looking sharp, and they're continuing this amazing trend of having half of the limbs one color, half another color, so gray and black. And I know Peggy, my girlfriend, she loves the hot pink figures as well, so this is a big win. Now, the next two figures are causing a real buzz online. We'll start with this one. It's Spartan Fred in different colored armor, like a nice green, I love that metallic green, and I've just been reading Shadows of Reach recently. I'm staring straight at the book. It looks like the same Fred. Everyone's been speculating whether Blue Team will be in the game. Maybe they'll be the split screen characters on campaign. Who knows? So that Spartan Frederick, we'll call him. He comes in green metallic. I love the green. Like, I have such an army of these green metallic figures now. I love collecting them all together. And really nice looking shoulders, like, jut out to either side. It looks like they hold his combat combat knives maybe. All of these Spartans, goodness me, they are amazing. The second one looks like Spartan Kelly. Like that Kelly is exactly like Halo Legends Kelly. So that's truly exciting. Halo Legends inspired slash Halo Infinite inspired. This is all just wonderful. I, this is making everybody go crazy. Just having these figures in. And here's my big theory, okay? Because the last two Halo Hero series have been limited to five figures. And we kind of had it confirmed that series 13 of Halo Heroes had a figure pulled due to spoilers. What if that figure was one of Blue Team? What if Series 14, that also has five figures, what if that missing figure is another member of Blue Team? What if Mega Constructs has already made the molds for Blue Team because they're gonna be in Halo Infinite? That's an exciting theory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with that one for a while. <laughs> and Spartan Kelly is in the craziest colors. This metallic sort of orange with a blue teal visor. Then she's got a gravity hammer. Again, alternating limbs, sort of maybe silver or gray. I think more silver like these figures. Mega Constructs. Bravo, guys. Bravo. But we're only gonna get crazier from here, and we're building up to that final figure. I can't wait to hear you guys' reaction to it. So now we've got this ridiculous colored Elite Ultra, which I love. Like, this one is a very love-hate relationship. I've seen some people love the colors, some people don't like it. Ah, come on, guys. He's got a plasma repeater. He looks amazing. Those gold eyes. Like, we have had a lot of Elite Ultras, but I don't care. This one's amazing. It reminds me of, like, the old days of Halo Mega blocks where they were making funny like colored CQBs like I, I love all that I think that is a phenomenal figure he also has really nice black accents and highlighting particularly on his torso like this is a quality elite even though it's so ridiculous like I cannot get over that color and then we're moving on up we've got our AC and I know some people don't like having an AC on the front of the packaging I think it's okay to have one I think two is a little weird like infinite series one but this is an AC monkey. We've got AC Craig. AC Craig Chieftain. Let's go. This is our AC Craigie boy. I just love it. I think it's fantastic. And an AC Brute Chieftain. God help us if there's AC Brute Chieftains in the game. I'll tell you that much. He's got an incredible set of armor. If you watch my opening of Series 13, I'm in awe of that mold. We had the Master Chief AC in Series 1, the Spartan Trailblazer AC Series 2, and now we've got Brute Chieftain. 
Fantastic. I really love the idea. And then something that we've also got repeating in this series, we had a micro build Pelican in series one, micro build Phantom in series two, and this one is a micro build Wasp. And goodness me, I think this one looks the most like its counterpart than any of the micro builds have. The Phantom is a very difficult vehicle in general to replicate in such a small scale, but I mean, I love the Pelican, Forward Unto Dawn, the Spirit of Fire, and the Truth and Reconciliation. Like these things are some of my favorite pieces of Mega Constructs. I just love that they're going back to the micro builds. So Mega Blocks, if you're listening, keep going with this. It's a great step forward. All right, everybody, it's the moment you've been waiting for. The big reveal. Now, when this leak came out online, most of these figures were visible, but this one figure was creased and almost just glared out of the picture. And it's the one everyone's been speculating about online. I cannot wait to reveal this. This is a new mold grunt, and I can't even describe it. I'll just show you. This is the grunt of death. I don't even know what to make of it. This is like a banished warlord grunt. I guess he's like a pack mule. Maybe he's just carrying weapons around. When I first saw the leak, personally, I thought he had some kind of cannon on his back, but now you can see there's an additional clip on the top. There's actually three clips on the top and two shock rifles on his back. This is, this is something else. <laughs> this is so crazy. He has banished war paint on him. I don't even know what happened to his methane tank. Like, is he still able to breathe? Ha <laughs> Longtime fans of my channel know that we love grunts here. Billy the Grunt is our mascot, and we name every single grunt from every blind bag, every set. Whether it be Billy, Charles, or Fred, we've named them all. And this one, today we're officially naming for the first time, is Victor. Victor the Grunt. <laughs> Victor the Grunt is out for revenge. Like, this is the most fantastic figure in the blind bag series. This has made Grunt the most important figure in the series. So congrats, Mega. Congrats. Congrats. And I cannot wait to see these pack mule grunts in Halo Infinite. If you have any more theories about what this grunt is, please do let me know below. This is absolutely phenomenal. Guys, to celebrate this awesome event and to thank Mega for their trust in me to release this information, I'm giving away these two blind bags, Halo Infinite Series 1 and 2. All you need to do is like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and comment down below saying blind bag hype. If you do all those things, I'll pick two winners to ship two blind bags to. Good luck to all that enter. This has been an incredible video. I cannot, I cannot believe that grunt. I cannot believe how insane this blind bag series is. Like it's definitely the coolest I've seen since Clash on the Ring. We've got some amazing additions, an army building Marine, Spartan JFO, Fred and Kelly, which is crazy. We've got an elite ultra, this grunt mule packer, whatever he is, and an AC brute chieftain and a micro wasp. I could not ask for a better series. Thank you to Mega. Thanks to all who support the channel. Stay awesome out there. Stay safe. The domain is signing off.